you join me with the Haswell i7 build from the previous video. And while this is a pretty nice machine, it is consuming a lot of power and we can get down to a tenth of that power usage if we use something with an embedded processor like maybe an HP Thin Client. That is exactly what I'll be looking at today. This first box from Aramix Global Shopper imported from the US is an HP Thin Client. This is the HP T540 model here and it's a reasonable condition Thin Client. Comes with all the accessories needed. It even has the protective film on the back and taking it apart is as simple as unclipping the back panel and removing a simple screw that is holding the lid in place. And inside the layout is pretty standard. You've got a heatsink for the CPU and a single sodium slot. So let's test this machine out. Now the performance here of this little Ryzen 1305 is half that of the Haswell, but the power consumption being a tenth makes it rather lucrative. And if we see what we got, we've got a Ryzen 1305G clocked at 1.5 gigahertz and it's equipped with 4 gigs of RAM and a 32 gigabyte eMMC first upgrade is going to be our RAM we're taking this up to 16 gigabyte DDR4 And secondly, we are upgrading that M.2 to a full-size 2280 240GB Western Digital Green. Now this board will take 32GB SODOMs, uh, but it will not work with SATA M.2s, it needs to be NVMe. And that is pretty much how you upgrade these little computers. However, Curiosity got the better of me. I decided to order the higher spec HP T640. This has got a lot better I.O., faster processor and dual channel RAM. So this box more or less the same as the first one, complete with all the accessories, the foot, the power supply, and it even has some clear tape protecting our uh, thin client. Getting into this one a little bit more tricky. But the back panel snaps off and there's a green cap to remove the lid. Which eventually will come off. Inside it's a lot more cramped. And it took me quite some time to figure out where the RAM is I want to upgrade. The processor is clearly not on this side. We've got a daughter board in the top for all the front I.O. And I stared at it for quite some time before studying the lid, which has got clear instructions that the RAM is under that metal shield. So this machine I am going to upgrade to dual channel 32 gigabyte using two 16 gigabyte sodiums. Ah, there we go. A much faster clock rise and embedded at 2.4 gigahertz and a whopping 32 gigabytes of RAM. I found this solution to be a much more workable daily driver than the smaller 540 and uh, the more power hungry Haswell. And I use this computer for a reasonable amount of time and it's currently serving as my home server doing the printer and also my Zonotic server after upgrading the storage. That is it for this video. Thanks very much for watching.